Jesus is the cat at the theatre door. His name, as I ought to have told you before, is really asparagus. But that's such a fuss to pronounce that we usually call him just Gus. His coat's very shabby, he's thin as a rake, and he suffers from palsy that makes his paw shake. Yet he was in his youth quite the smartest of cats, but no longer a terror to mice or to rats. For he isn't the cat that he was in his prime, though his name was quite famous, he says, in his time. And whenever he joins his friends at their club, which takes place at the back of the neighbouring pub, he loves to regale them if someone else with anecdotes drawn from his palmiest days. For he once was a star of the highest degree. He has acted with Irving, he has acted with Tree. And he likes to relate his success on the halls where the gallery once gave him seven cat calls. But his grandest creation, as he loves to tell, was fire for fin, the field of the fair. I have played in my time every possible part and I used to know seventy speeches by heart I'd extemporize back chat I knew how to gag and I knew how to let the cat out of the bag I knew how to act with my back and my tail. With an hour of rehearsal, I never could fail. I'd a voice that would soften the hardest of hearts. Whether I took the lead or in character parts. I have sat by the bedside of poor little Nell When the curfew was rung then I swung on the bell In the pantomime season I never felt that And I once understudied Dick Whittington's cat But my grandest creation as history will tell was fire for fiddle, the fiend of the fell. His modern productions are all very well, but there's nothing to eat. 